privilege here to uh, just to talk a little bit about contribution and really just encourage those uh, to continue to sacrifice and inspire some to start sacrificing, amen? amen? But we can't talk about money without talking about the heart. Turn me to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew 6, verse 31. Let me get an amen when you guys are there. Matthew 6, 31. Awesome. It says, So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Right here, guys, it's, it's clear some of us can worry. Actually, I take that back. All of us can worry, right? Even 2,000 years ago, people were freaking out about what they're going to eat, what they're going to drink, and what they're going to wear. So Jesus here says, God knows that we need these things. So there's no need to worry, right? Because previously, in the, if you read the scriptures before, it talks about how even the birds and the fields of, and the grass of the field are taken care of. And so I want to put before you guys just a, just a little question, just a, a small little uh, thing to think about. Have you guys ever seen a bird anxious? Just for, for a second. Have you ever seen one? We, guys, we see birds, we see squirrels all the time, right? Those guys have, a, have ne you've never seen one with anxiety. And yet, what do they have? They don't have a job. You know, some of them, some of them don't remember their mom. They just woke up one day, uh, and then they're alive. And every day, they, they, just, they just find food. One time I gave a squirrel, uh, a literal squirrel, uh, I was eating peanut butter under a tree. A squirrel came down there, and I gave him some of my peanut butter. I don't think it was me, guys. I think God was taking care of that squirrel. I'm not, I'm, I believe God was really taking care of that squirrel. God here knows the squirrel's needs, and I mean, he's going to take care of them. God does the same for us, right? But I, I don't believe it's, uh, I think today as we give our contribution, I don't believe it's because, you have, it's, it's because of our lack of money. I don't think so. As I'm, again, these birds, these, this grass of the field, they have nothing. So I don't think, I don't think we go, we're not going to give because of our lack of money. I believe we're not going to give because we have too much worry. Just way too much worry. And so, I just want to look at that today. You guys with me? Let's look about not having worry. Uh, and I believe here in the scripture, Jesus says, again, he only feels one way about worry. Don't. He feels one way about worry, and he simply says, don't. Because I believe our worry can blind us from God's glory. And so, I want to help you guys understand. I believe our worry can take us out. If you guys reference, just, just think about it. Uh, Mark 4, 19. It's a, it's a little bit into uh, Jesus' parable of the sower. He talks about the third, uh, the third soil. A soil, uh, a, a seed sown among the thorns. What do those thorns do? They choke out. They choke us out because of the worries of our life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desire for other things. Those things choke us out and make us unfruitful. What's interesting, though, uh, is I believe it also chokes out our wallets. Chokes out our wallets. Stops us from giving our money to God because we worry. And so today, I believe, uh, I mean, I, I, honestly, guys, I can worry. I can worry. I can, I can hold back. I can want to hold back my money when I think about my rent, when I think about my phone bill, when I think about my family, when I think about my job, when I think about even my future. I, I know for myself, hearing Ron talking about he has no savings, uh, <laughs> uh, man, I for myself, my mom would like would would freak out if she found out I have no savings. Uh, she would she would freak out. Uh, and yet, Ron lives like that boldly. No savings, and he's he's much older than I am. You know, you would think uh, by by Ron's age, he would you know he would have some savings. None. 
Guess what else? Amen. Ron may have no savings, but he also has no worry. He also has no worry. So I got I to gotta take up the charge. The cure for no worry is belief. I got to believe. You guys can turn to the scripture, Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. It's just a, just a page over. Maybe you just have to look up. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. It simply says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Sim- it simply says that. Uh, guys, I'm not, I'm not political. I don't, uh, I don't really follow the politics at all. Uh, I'm pretty bad. Uh, but I did look up some stats, and I want to present them to you today. Hillary Clinton, you've heard about her, has raised almost $700 million for her presidential campaign. Donald Trump, again, you've heard of him, uh, has raised almost $350 million for his presidential campaign. You can ask yourself, well, how do these people get all this money? Uh, Donald Trump's rich and so is Hillary Clinton, but it wasn't from their own pockets. People gave their money. Donations. 38% of Hillary's donations came from $200 or less. What that, what that helps you understand is that it's not from big corporations. People like you and me are giving their money to Hillary Clinton, giving their money to Donald Trump so that they can become president. So again, the cure to not, to, to not worry is belief. I believe the followers of Hillary Clinton believe she's gonna change the world. I believe the followers of Donald Trump honestly believe they're, she, they're, he's going to change the world. And so as a follower of Jesus, do you believe Jesus is doing something to change the world? I don't know. 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 Do you really believe? Right, Hillary Clinton uh, is a proclaimed Democrat. Donald Trump says, I'm a Republican. Are we not Christians? Are we not Christians? simple guys. I tried to make it as simple as I possibly could. It's just as simple. If you really believe we're trying to change the world, there's no way you're holding back. There's no way. There's no way. Even if you can't give your pledge, even if you pledge to give, I don't know, 50, and you can only find $10 in your wallet right now. Amen, I'll take it. I won't take it, but amen. The, Jesus Christ will take it. Amen. Don't be afraid of the world. Don't be afraid of what they teach you. They teach you, you got to protect yourself. You got to lift yourself up. Who's going to watch over you? No one's going to watch over you. You got to do it. That's false. That's a lie from Satan. God's got us. And so we're good. And so we're good. So let's be unified today. Let's make sure that we give our pledge. And if we can't give our pledge, let's make sure we, we don't leave here with giving nothing. Yeah, let's be unified. Let's take care of God's church. Let's take care of God in general. Let's take care of the kingdom. Let's take care of the, the humble servants that work for God. And let's just, let's just be awesome in giving our contribution. Amen? Amen. Let's go to God in prayer.